Um, man, you don't really, you, like when you're in the match, you kind of just are in your own little world and you're not really thinking and like about the outside circumstances. And so I was just so focused in on the match. It didn't really hit me that I won until my coaches told me, like, you know, you won. I was like, really? And they're like, yeah. So then everything sunk in and I just, you know, it was just a wave of gratitude. And I was just thanking God, you know, for that peace that was beyond understanding. And I'm just grateful. Like, I try to represent uh, the people that love God. I'm just trying to be that. Cause you know, like through wins and losses, he uses those as lessons. And I'm grateful for the community that's picked me up. And I'm just, all the guys that came in to work out with me and my coaches. And I'm grateful for just my community, you know. What is it like being a part of the Sorry. What did it take to win the match? Um, you know, just some adjustments. Like, it's difficult when you've been defeated, but you know, like turning that. I remember my old teammate told me that you can turn any loss into a lesson, and for me, it was like I had to go from trying to chase the win to what can I do developmentally, and that really helped me because you know. Whether you win or lose, it's it's all development. And if you're in it for the long haul, this is a sport of endurance, you know, and not just chasing a win here and there. But if you really want to develop into the best wrestler you can be, it just that's what it takes is through the losses, you just keep learning, you know. Win, lose, or draw, you pick yourself up and go back to work. Well, you have been three champions here. You've also been a team, right? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. You all three trans women, too. I think there's just like I just look at Mia and Adugo and they're not just athletic they they live the sport you know like they they're laser sharp focus always asking questions you have that natural curiosity and I just see that in every single one of the girls that really put their best foot forward and want to chase those goals you know and yeah I they're hungry they work hard I try to be just like that you know and we just keep moving forward yeah, so um, it's it's a little bit surreal, you know. I'm still taking it in, and um, it just shows that you just gotta. Like, it just shows me that like I can keep going, you know. I'm so new in the sport. I was a dancer all my life, so coming into it, you know, um, as a junior in high school, it, it was. Like I was thrown in with all the big fish and I was sinking and I had to learn how to float and then baby steps, learn how to swim and you know there's so much that I still got to learn and I'm hungry to keep learning it and keep developing, you know. Number one, <laughs> number one is God. Number two, you know, my all the guys that came into the room to help me, they selflessly woke up at 6 a.m. to help me get in drills and stayed after school, even though they had to go work and do their own job. So I'm grateful for them, grateful for my coaches, and uh, Megan Black, who just kept me going. You know, she's another amazing, talented wrestler, and she, uh, she just helped pick me back up, you know, when I didn't believe in myself, and we just kept rolling.